Welcome back, sister. I'm Andrea Haynes, founder and president of Virtuous Woman ASAP, where our mission is to teach females of all ages their worth as found in Jesus Christ, and then how to build on that rock solid foundation. Well, I'm glad you were able to join us here today. Um, we are actually doing our next in the video blog series of the Virtuous Insight Studies, which is the study that we're doing on Proverbs 31, that beautiful acrostic poem that teaches about the virtuous woman as found in Proverbs chapter 31, verses 10 through 31. If you'd like to get a hold of transcripts that we've got of these broadcasts, we do have verses 10 through 22 up there so far. And you can see that at our website at virtuouswomanasap.org. That's V-I-R-T-U-O-U-S-W-O-M-A-N-A-S-A-P dot O-R-G. All right, well, there are several ways that you can interact with us here at Virtuous Woman ASAP. Of course, you can see us right here at YouTube. Please subscribe to us and please share that subscription with others. Um, but you can also reach us in other ways. You can see the same broadcast at Google+. Plus. You can also see us on Facebook and on Twitter. So praise the Lord. There's so many ways that you can reach us and interact with us. And, and we just welcome you whatever way you choose to just come. So I am so eager to jump into verse 14 of Proverbs 31 today. And we're going to do just that, but not before we invite our special guest, the Holy Spirit. Dear God, in the name of Jesus, we ask you to lead this session, break strongholds, deliver wisdom, and deliver life-changing revelation. God, I ask you to awaken this warrior and to recreate her into a woman who will transform her home and teach others for your glory. In the powerful name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right. Well, um, I was led to study the N-A-B-R-E version, which is the New American Bible Revised Edition of Proverbs 31, 14. And it reads, like a merchant fleet, she secures her provisions from afar. Okay, so I was concerned when I first read this verse, I live on a budget, much like most of us. So how can a woman on a budget as limited as mine afford to get goods from afar? Okay, shouldn't I have known by now that if that's what I was getting on initial observation of this verse, that God had a much deeper meaning than what was just below the surface? I should have known, but I didn't but he did because he always does. So this time I was led to consult some commentaries. So I believe that God would never ask me to do more than what I am truly equipped to do. Therefore I knew, I started to understand that this verse had to have a hidden meaning and I was determined to dig that out. So as always, I was prayerful about what I read to make sure that the Holy Spirit was just all over me to lead me and guide me into all truth. And then it hit me. Thanks, Gil. Who's Gil? Well, in Gil's exposition of the entire Bible, this is what I heard. She is like the merchant ships, not like a single one, but like a navy of them that cross the seas, go to foreign parts and come back laden with rich goods. So the church of Christ and her true members like ships of burden trade to heaven by prayer and other religious exercises and return with the riches of grace and mercy, hallelujah, to help them in time of need. And so let me just stop here and say, Religious exercises, actually by definition, I am sure is not what Gil meant here. 
because religious actually means something that you do as a habit, something that you do as a ritual. And we don't ever receive things from God by ritual. The Bible lets us know that we don't have to be like heathens, those who don't know the Lord, that think they're going to be heard for their much speaking or because they're saying something repeatedly, but it's relationship. So I am sure that that is what Gil meant. So I just had to clarify that. Hallelujah. As I continue, she bringeth her food from afar, from a far country, from Egypt particularly, from whence corn for bread, as the word here used signifies, was fetched and carried in ships to diverse parts of the world, to which the allusion may be in a spiritual sense. It may mean that the church brings her food from heaven, the good land afar off, where God, her father, Christ, her husband, and her friends, the angels are, with whom she carries on a correspondence, and from hence she has her food for her family, not from below on earth, not dust, the serpent's food, nor ashes on which a deceitful heart feeds, nor husks which swine eat, but the corn of heaven angels food the hidden and heavenly manna the bread of life which comes down from heaven the gospel of the grace of god the good news from a far country ha, now we're headed somewhere god will always give me spiritual power so now i was led to look up several words but we will zero in on four words like secures, provisions, and afar. Like the definition of Merriam-Webster that drew me in the most was of the same form, appearance, kind, character, amount, etc. All right, we'll come back to all the definitions after we list each one. So now let's look at word number two, and that is secures. Well, I liked three of these definitions. Number one, makes reliable. Number two, to make certain. And number three, to get possession of or to acquire. Word number three, provisions. And this time I felt led to two of these. Number one, the providing or supply of something, especially food or other necessities. Number two, the arrangement of or preparation beforehand. As for the doing of something, the meeting of needs, the supply of means, etc. And finally, word number four, which is afar. And that definition is from, to, or at a great distance. Mm. All right, I have a friend and sister and co-blog writer who describes the juicy, meaty, satisfying things of God as Campbell's soup good. And I gotta say, this one is mm -mm good, hallelujah. So when I think of fleet, and when I think of a fleet of merchant ships, I visualize this commanding presence of something coming all at once to take care of business in a very authoritative way. God had the writer of this acrostic poem write that the virtuous woman has the same power, command, and authoritative presence as a fleet of merchant ships. Have mercy. So if you ever thought of yourself as beneath, less than, or anything else other than in command, think again, my friend, God says, you are mighty. What does she use this mighty presence for though? To show off? To lord her power over others? No, oh no. So let's continue on with the definitions to find out what she uses it for. She uses it to secure provisions from afar. So secure means get. Provisions is food or other necessities beforehand, which means before they're needed. And then afar 
is from a great distance. So lesson number one, when the virtuous woman rises early, little sneak peek of verse 15, to see the Lord in prayer, to receive spiritual food for the day for herself and for her household, she is securing provision. Her household doesn't even need the spiritual food she's gathering yet because they're asleep. But when they rise, they will. And she's prepared. Lesson number two, she does not gather within her own strength and from her own abilities. No. See, she goes afar from a great distance to gather these because she knows the importance of making sure they are sufficient to meet the needs of herself and her family and those within her sphere of influence. So she's willing to go that great distance. And what distance is further than heaven and the very throne of God? So that is where she goes to gather the provision, hallelujah, that will sustain. And the virtuous woman will be successful in providing for her family, not because she has worldly means that only some women have that type of global access to, but because she has access to the power that all virtuous women have equal access to God himself. Praise the Lord. We are so glad that you were able to stop by and share time with us. We ask that you please subscribe and then encourage others to subscribe. Then that way you and others will not miss out on anything that Virtuous Woman ASAP has to get from God to give to you. God bless.